Well, welcome to Port St. Lucie, Florida. This is Professor Teferro with Lesson 3 of Advertising and Marketing, one of my favorite courses. Um, today, we're going to look at uh, one of the most interesting things about advertising, and that's how to get the client's attention. The purpose of advertising, or one of the purposes of advertising, is to quickly get the attention of potential customers. And it's a lot easier said than done. A prime example of getting the attention of the customer uh, was from 1984 uh, when a small um, hamburger company called Wendy's um, tried to compete with the big boys who would have been Burger King and McDonald's. And uh, a lot of people said, you're crazy. You can't compete with McDonald's and you can't compete with Burger King. And uh, I said, well, you know, let's give it a shot with our advertising. And in 1984, they came up with an advertising campaign that said, where's the beef? Now, I don't think there's a person who's living in the United States who uh, is not familiar with that term, where's the beef? What that term signifies from that uh, crotchety old woman was that, uh, you know, show me. Show me, you know, the product that you're going to give me. Uh, don't say, oh, we got the best burgers in the world and uh, the taste really great, blah, 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 blah. Where's the beef? This ad and this ad campaign was extremely successful. It garnered a large market share for Wendy's in the hamburger market, which heretofore had only been pretty much divided up by Burger King and McDonald's. Um, so how do you grab somebody's attention besides having a, um, you know, annoyed older woman uh, yelling at the camera, where's the beef? Well, there's more subtle ways uh, that you can grab people's attention as well. Um, for example, if your target population is women over 30, um, you might start an ad campaign for weight loss and uh, pills for weight loss. Now, there's hundreds of companies with hundreds of pills and everybody is pretty much using the same techniques to get their product noticed and get their product uh, purchased at major chains. So how do you differentiate yourself? You have to be able to differentiate yourself from your competition. Well, the first thing you might say is, um, do you want to lose weight? Well, what woman over 30 doesn't want to lose weight? Also, you could try, if it's a different product, maybe at 30 years old, women start to worry about their age. And so you can have a product that keeps you younger. And the first thing that you would say about your product, whether it's online or in a media uh, uh, advertisement or whatever, would be, would you like to stay younger? <laughs> yeah. What woman over 30 is going to say, no, 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 I don't want to stay younger. I want to get old. I want to get old and, you know, look like I'm 40. <laughs> no. Uh, just about every woman on the planet wants to stay looking under 30. Um, at least many of them do. So um, that's a good place to start, getting people interested in what you are selling by making a very strong opening statement. And that's pretty much what I wanted to illustrate to you this evening. And um, until next time, this is Professor Teferro from Port St. Lucie. And next time we will discuss social networks and direct mail. So until then, everyone take care and be healthy. Bye-bye.